Ticks are a type of invertebrate animal. Uh, they live in heavily wooded forest areas. If we think about the comparison, they're actually arachnids, so they're more related to spiders than they actually are to mosquitoes. There are many different types of ticks. Uh, when we're looking at what's more concerning to us as Ontarians, as Canadians as a whole, it's mostly the black-legged deer tick, and the black-legged deer tick is a carrier of Lyme disease. Uh, ticks enjoy living in more warm, hospitable habitats. So they have lived traditionally in southern uh, states, in the southern parts of our provinces. What we're seeing now is the climate is warming. We're getting longer springs, uh, sometimes really long summers, uh, depending how far they go into the fall. And now we're seeing uh, a lot of the habitats expanding. And of more concern to us is expansion into areas that are uh, heavily populated. We have pests around us all the time. What you want to do is just be precautionary when you're going outdoors. So with ticks, they really like uh, clinging onto tall grasses and just grabbing onto you as you go along. Try to stay on the trails, uh, avoid brushing up against tall grasses, leaf litter, uh, make sure you're wearing light colored clothing so in the event that you do come out of a trail and you happen to spot a critter, you can brush them off. Ticks, if they're left undetected, especially on your pet, can feed for four, five, six days after uh, lodging themselves in, anchoring down and starting to engorge and feed. So it's really important to be careful and make sure you're monitoring your pets and even on us. It is a painless bite so it's effectively important to make sure we're monitoring ourselves after we come in from the outdoors.